Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all well this morning. Um, today in our math lesson, we're going to compare objects within 50. So our success criteria is identify the numbers being compared, identify which group has more, identify which group has less, and use the inequality symbols to compare numbers. So let's begin with our fast five questions. Um, so remember to pause between each uh, one if you need to, and then we'll go over the answers um, after we've had a look. Okay, so which symbol means is equal to? Number two, which symbol means is greater than? Number three, which symbol means is less than? Number four, what is the correct symbol to go in this circle here, comparing the straws with the deans? Okay, let's go over the answers then. So number one, which symbol means is equal to? Now that's the one that I think all of you have probably got right. You know our equals symbol. And that, what does that mean, that symbol equal to? It means the same as, okay. And number two, which symbol means is greater than? So this symbol means is greater than. It means whatever number is on this side is greater than the number on the other side. And then number three, which symbol means is less than? So it's this symbol here. So that means whatever is on this side of the symbol is less than what is on the other side of the symbol. And then finally, what is the correct symbol to go in this circle? Well, firstly, we need to work out what each picture represents. So I know that this bundle of 10 uh, represents 10, and then there's one, two, three ones. So one 10 and three ones. 13. And let's just check that by counting on. So 10, 11, 12, 13. And then over here, we've got one 10 and two ones. And what number is that? 12. So 10, 11, 12. Now I know, and I can see from the pictures as well, that 13 is greater than 12. 13 is more than 12. So the symbol that I need is this symbol. Okay, well done if you got those. Correct. Okay, so big question now. True or false question. Have a look at the picture. And then Stevie is saying 41 is more than 37. So is that true or false? Is the statement true or false? And looking at the representation, does it match as well? So pause the screen here to have a think and have a count. Okay, so firstly, let's have a look at the representation and see if that matches what Stevie is saying. So the first number Stevie mentions is 41. Now have a look at this table. Does this show 41? How many tens are in 41? That's right, four, because when we look at a two digit number, the first digit tells us how many tens there are. So four tens are 40. Are there four tens? Yes, there are. And then how many ones? One, one. Yep, so she's represented it correctly here, 41. And then over this side, the other number she mentioned is 37. So how many tens are in 37? three tens, and there are three tens over here. And how many ones are in 37? Seven ones. Are there seven ones? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. So the representation matches what Stevie is saying. Now, the one thing we need to check now is, is, is 41 really more than 37? Hmm. Let's have a look. Now, there are fewer, oh, we'll just get rid of this dot quickly. There are fewer ones in 41, aren't there? Because we can, if we compare the ones, there's only one one in 41, whereas there's seven ones in 37. But 
there are more tens, aren't there? There are more tens in 41 than there are in 37. And tens, as we know, are worth more than ones. Okay, so four tens and one one is more than three tens and seven ones. And if you have your hundred square in front of you as well, you can check that on there too. You will see that the number 41 comes after the number 47, uh, the number 37. And as we know, if a number comes after another number, it means it's a greater number, it's more. Okay, so well done, Stevie. You got that one right today. True. Okay, so our vocabulary for today's lesson, we're using that vocabulary of um, less, fewer, smaller, which is represented by this symbol here, less than. Um, equal to or the same represented by this symbol here and more than or greater or bigger represented by this symbol here as we've just talked about in our fast five starter and we're using that word compare to compare two amounts today so for an example here we've got some chicks and some rabbits so we've got the chicks are the first picture there are seven chicks and in the second picture, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rabbits. So as this in this example, we can see that seven is less than eight. So there are fewer chicks than rabbits. Seven is less than eight. There are more rabbits than chicks. Eight is greater than seven. So there's some examples of that vocabulary to help us with our um, learning today. Okay, so my turn first. I've got two, oh, those food pictures again. Always makes me hungry seeing food pictures in our math lessons. Okay, so remember our first step, if we go back to our success criteria, is to identify the numbers being compared. So you have to work out how many are in each group. So my first group, I can see I've got one full 10 frame. So one 10, and then I've got eight in my second 10 frame, eight ones. One 10 and eight ones is 18. And then over here I'm comparing, I'm looking, counting these cookies. Again, I've got one full 10 frame of cookies. So one 10, and then my second 10 frame has got nine cookies in it. One 10 and nine ones. So I'm comparing 18 with 19. And I can see, that because there are more cookies over here, that means that there are less donuts. So 18 18 is less than. Nineteen. Eighteen donuts is less than nineteen cookies. So if I'm putting the correct symbol in there, I can use this symbol here because this symbol means less than. Okay, so eighteen is less than nineteen, or eighteen is fewer than nineteen, and there is the sentence as well. Okay, let's have a go at this one together. So first, I'd like you to pause the screen and count how many is being represented in this picture of Dean's here. So pause the screen now. Okay, so there are one, two, three tens. Three tens. What is three tens? Count them with me. 10, 20, 30. So three tens is 30. And then how many ones are there? One, two. Three tens and two ones. 32. Did you get that as well? Amazing. So now we need to work out what the other group shows. So pause the screen again to count this group. Okay, so this group has two tens. And what is two tens? Let's count 10, 
20. Two tens is 20. And then how many ones have we got? Two, exactly. Two tens and two ones is 22. Did you manage to get that as well? Amazing. Okay, so now what we need to do is have a look at our two representations and decide which group is more and which group is less. So pause the screen here to uh, work that out. Okay, so we're comparing 30, ooh, 32 with 22. Okay, now, did you think, did you say that 32 is greater than 22? Well done if you did. Now, can you explain how you know? Think about what we talked about before, about tens and ones. How do you know that 32 is greater than 22? So pause here to explain your reasoning. Okay, so although the ones are the same in 20, 32 and 22, they both have two ones, 32 has three tens and 22 only has two tens. So 32 is greater than 22. So which symbol are we going to use to represent great, uh, 32 being greater than 22? Pause again to choose the symbol. Hey, did you choose this symbol? Amazing. And if you're still struggling with the inequality symbols, just remember that thing that we talked about before, about how the crocodile always eats the bigger number, always eats the greater number. So imagine that inequality symbol as being the crocodile's mouth and it's eating the greater number. Okay, lovely. Let's have a go at doing this one on your own. So pause the screen here and have a go at doing all those different parts of the, um, of the problem, working out um, the, number sen uh, the sentence, whether it's less than or greater than or equal to, and choosing the symbol. And then we'll come back once you're done and you'll see if you're right. Okay then, so let's see how you get, got on. Now, in this picture here, we have got three tens, which is 30, and one one, 31. And then this picture over here, again, we have got one, two, three tens, and three tens is 30, yep, yeah, and one one. Ah, so both representations are showing 31, which means they are equal, they are the same. So 31 compared with 31, 31 is equal to 31. And then the symbol that represents equal to is the equal symbol. Right, did you manage to do that? Super, that means you're ready for your challenge. So for the main activity today, if you go to Teams to complete the assignment, there's a sheet that's attached to the assignment for you to either print off um, and write your answers onto it, or you can just write all of your answers on a piece of paper. And then make sure that you attach a photo of your learning to the assignment on Teams as well. And your stretch challenge today, um, if you were really confident with your main activity, um, is your reasoning and problem solving challenge, which is also um, on the assignment. Okay, see you later, guys. Bye.